guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another weekly update where I tell you how some ridiculous BS goes down. This is where it all went down, okay? So we are already back here, okay? And I get a text from this random number. Keep in mind, like a couple months ago, I went through all my blocked lists and I like unblocked all these numbers because like I thought, well, by now nobody's contacting me, right? Like none of these people are contacting me, right? So I unblocked all these numbers. So I had got a message from a number that I did not recognize, right? So I open it and I literally have the messages like still here. And it just says morning and this is at 8.51 a.m. AM and I'm like okay like that's really weird so I was like sorry I don't know who you are and literally this person says like right off the bat you was recommended for the amazing job you do would like to hire you today from 6 p.m. till 7 please reply if you're available we'll send you address and there's free parking available and I was like what like crest question marks right I was like I'm not sure what you're talking about I don't know what job you're referring to did someone from Rober recommend me like why would you only need pet sitting services for one hour and if you're thinking I offer anything else you're sadly mistaken because at this point I thought it was like an escort person like I thought they were thinking that I was an escort and I was gonna come over and like do the job right so I was like who recommended me to you like I think you have the wrong number and then they were like it's not one hour from 6 p.m. till 7 in the morning and I was like what why would I ever come over at for the night shift what the hell like why would I ever come over at night like most people are home unless if they want an actual house sitting job then they would have a meet and greet and tell me where I'd be sleeping and all that right but this was just off from the get-go okay so like you can tell I'm clearly creeped out and like this is so off and like just seems weird right so I was like oh well I'm currently booked for house sitting with another client till the end of March so I'm not available sorry about that I was just very confused at what services you were asking for because usually I get people thinking I'm an escort which I'm not and then he's like sorry for misunderstanding and I was like okay well usually people will tell me who they are and who sent them or how they found me that's why I was confused sorry about that enjoy your day like I'm trying to end the conversation there right like I'm trying to be like you have the wrong number like I'm not interested like bye like leave me alone right so clearly this person is not who they say they are they are because they continue they say can I drop my pet and pick it up when I'm done my shift today evening like six and I'm like what I'm like one I don't offer services like that Two, if you're looking for a daycare go to an actual daycare doggy daycare and then three I usually just do house sittings and drop-ins like I don't do anything else and then he's like why do you work how do you work on your schedule I was like I use Rover and I go off the app and then he said can you drop in six please and I was like I'm not available I'm sorry highly recommend Rover maybe someone else who is available can do it sorry about that so literally they would not stop like it kept going right like literally as many times and politely as I try to be to like tell him to fuck off he doesn't get it right so he's like sounds good when can I book for a drop-in at my apartment and I was like question mark I'm not I'm unsure what you mean you would have to book through the app on Rover to see my availability and then literally he says this whole thing about how my girlfriend left the apartment she's in Mexico she'll be back on the 10th but I don't want to worry about taking care of this cat so can you do it I was like how many animals do you have and they said one and then I was like I'm sorry but I'm just not comfortable with this like it's this is just not how I run my business like I usually do a meet and greet like this is just hella weird right like good luck finding someone and then he's like well we can do that and you decide then you good till my girlfriend comes up and I'll pay up front and I was like this just seems so sketch to begin with okay so anyways so then I was like can I ask how you got my number and he says my girlfriend and send me I texted her how she got the number when she replied I let you but she knows about the rover app how about today after work I'll come see you or you come see me at the apartment it'll be if you're comfortable to check in daily then decide and I was like this person clearly does not understand English like clearly English is not their first language because this made no sense okay so I was like uh, I literally said I was like can I get her name and he said Stella so I literally went through my rover my rover uh, past like archives and like things that I had to reject because I couldn't do it at the time and I was like nowhere did I ever see a Stella and he was telling me that he had a cat right so because I asked like what's the pet's name dog or cat and they said star is the name and it's a cat and so I was like looking at the rover thing and I was like I don't see a star 
with like I don't see a name with the name star and I don't see a cat right so I was very confused right and then I was like yeah I'm not sure who you talked to but I don't recall ever giving my number out to Estella uh, nor looking after an animal named star because usually I can only see who I've previously talked to right like I can't see anybody new right so clearly no nobody gave my information because this person this client didn't exist on rover okay so I said I don't have my number posted on rover so I'm unsure how you got my number if I have ever spoken to this person before and my number is not public are you sure you reached out to the correct person can I see the photo of an animal of the animal and no one has reached out to me on rover with this info so I'm just extremely confused and he says all you do is check in once a day evening and I'll pay you you decide and I was like clearly this person is not understanding what the conversation is about literally they're just trying to fool me into coming because like look how they completely ignored all of my other questions right so I was like I charge $50 per drop-in which is a lie I usually charge like 20 right like I don't charge that much for a drop drop-in but I was like this dude is hella creep like I'm gonna charge it to a high amount and then see if they would still pay right and then literally I was like it just seems weird that you're not able to clarify my confusion maybe someone else will be better off with this job I'm just not interested so this is like the fourth or fifth time I've said fuck off now right like I'm not interested like stop asking right and he's like I'll pay the 50 because I'm at work and I'm trying to figure out I really appreciate your help for your kindness I'll even pay a tip on top of that I just want to work peaceful without thinking about checking in I was like this is such a fucking lie because like nobody works 24 hours and like if you're working at night you would usually try to and if it's a cat you can the cat is fine like you just leave food and water out and then you're good right like it doesn't need this much attention right so I was like so confused right like I didn't I was getting so angry with this person like it was pissing me off like I was actually angry for the whole day so I was like what does the animal need done just food and they're like yes and water everything is in the house and I was like can I ask the address so okay this is fucking weird because this guy sent me an address okay send me one address we'll name this address one because it gets fucking weird okay so this address is in skyview okay and i was like okay and then sends me like the apartment number and like buzz information and like he's like i can be there for 6 p.m and i was like okay so is this everything every day until april 10th only one check-in at 6 p.m and he's like yes please and i was like this is just so weird like nobody usually asks for things like that like they're usually like house sitting things where you're staying overnight and like you don't need to do drop-ins all the time like most people don't do drop-ins like from what i've learned it's like I barely do I've never really done a drop-in unless it was like for my best friend my other best friend the one that's probably that gave birth I should say because she gave birth like last week right so anyway so I sent my e-transfer because they kept saying they would pay me and I was like it's gonna be 950 for the entire time $50 a day and then he's like okay thanks and I was like okay so like clearly this person just has money to burn right so then I was like, I do require payment up front, though, and can I get your name, please? Okay, so this is even more weird. So this person, he gives his name, Jonathan, okay? And then he says, 50 daily, is that right? And I was like, yes, per visit. And he's like, okay, I'll send 50 today at 6 p.m. I'll, I'll be there to show you the apartment and give key. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. So 532 rolls around, okay? So... I so in between that time like from that conversation I was blazing with the roommate and I did other things like I took a nap and all that right so then 532 rolls around I said hey I'm starting to make my way over now okay so this person didn't message me for like 25 minutes so I was like 10 minutes away from my arrival okay and oh my god can I also tell you that earlier in the day when he told me that first address, I actually did a dry run to that address to see if it was legit. And it was a legit place, yes, but that's not the weird part, okay? So when I'm like almost there, okay, he's like, I'm running late, could you make it 8.30? And I was like, and he's like, did you get the money? And I was like, I'm literally almost there. No, I did not. And then he's like, okay. So I was like, 8.30 is too late for me. I'm sorry. He's like, where are you now? And I was like, turning on to Country Hills Boulevard. And yes, I was driving when this was happening because I was like pissed off, right? So 
I was like, so you're not going to be there? And he's like, I'm here in four, mi- four minutes. And I was like, okay, like I thought you said you were running late. And then he's like, yes, I was trying to turn back to get food, but I'll get that later after I show you. After Shell Gas Station, turn left and come straight to the building. 60 Park outside the building, buzz, blah, blah, blah. I'll open it for you. So this is where I was very confused because when I made that dry run, it was way before where this shell that he was talking about was okay so like this was like right when you like enter cross car i was gonna say cross iron when you want enter country hills there's like it's like pretty much like a straight line right so like houses on each thing right and when i did the dry run it was at the beginning okay so while I'm driving, and I'm not texting and driving, I'm not doing the text speech, like I'm talking into my phone, and then it writes it down, and then it sends, right? So literally while I'm driving and talking to my phone, I was like, there's no Shell gas station, there's only a McDonald's, and then he's like, where are you? And then I said, on Country Hills Boulevard, so I was like, oh my god, I see it, because I eventually did see the Shell gas station, but it was way farther than the first place that I went to, right? Like I didn't even pass the shell when I first went there for the dry run, okay? So that was my first big red flag because I was like, why would I be going past the house? You know what I mean? Like past the first address that I was given, okay? So then uh, he asks me again, like, where are you? And then I was like, I'm almost there or whatever. So I said, can you send me the address again, please? Like, I just want to be sure that I'm going to the correct place. So I said, I'm coming from Stony Trail, so I'm not sure if the address you're telling me is correct or not. And then he gives me an address that's completely different than the one that he gave me before. And then he said, put that into the GPS. So I literally went back, like I was at a stoplight and I literally went back through the whole conversation and I grabbed that first address that he gave me. And I was like, this is the address you gave me first. I'm just confused as to why it's changed. And then he's like, they are opposite each other apartments, whichever is easier on the GPS, are you here? And then finally I pulled up to this location that he gave me. I was like, I think I'm here. And then he tells me all the information that I need. And I was like, okay, I'll be up shortly. And then he says, thanks. And I was like, I'm assuming it's the apartment number that I buzzed in. And he's like, yep, for sure. That and he said, yes. And then I was like, okay, so I, this is the point where I knocked on the door. Okay. So <sighs> this is all when I need to give you a backstory because it's not going to make sense once I walk in. Okay. So remember when I told you about that guy that like walked in on, the apartment that I was house sitting for that bitch Sherry okay that that bitch that scammed me and the one that's in Ontario scamming other people right so like that guy that came in and like that like, sent me a whole bunch of money to like sleep with him right and I like totally cut him off because I was like I don't want to ever see him again like he gave me weird vibes like he creeped me out like he was like forcing himself on me when I told him I was done like I don't want to do it like I'm done right like he creeped me out so I blocked his number blocked everything right so fast forward to when I'm walking into this apartment, okay? So he opens the door. But the strange thing was is that literally he didn't like – because usually when people greet you at the door, they'll come and present themselves while they're opening the door, right? But he like completely opened the door and like he was standing behind it. So like I couldn't see, I could just see the apartment, right? And then he's like, come in. And I was like, okay. So I like walk in slowly. And then as soon as I walk in, he like slams the door shut and locks it. And then he like guards it and like tells me to go in. And I was like, oh my god like it's that guy that I cut off like three months ago like I cannot tell you how much my heart dropped when I saw him like it was to a point where he noticed it like he saw that I was terrified because I was like not expecting this so like as soon as I walk in I was like where's the cat and then he's like there is no cat I'm the cat and I was like Oh my god. Like literally like I just like felt like every dumb bone in my body, you know, like I felt like everything just like fell apart in my face because 
I was trying to get away from this guy like he was creeping me out and like I should have known once like why are you giving random addresses out and like when I try to you know decipher if this is real and I go to an actual place and then you send me somewhere completely different like bro he was if I never asked for the address again I would have went to somebody else's house like somebody else's apartment and they would have been like who are you and they would have called the cops on me because of this right so like that was the, a big red flag as well because, like, why would you give a random person's address? Like, he didn't even live there. Like, the craziest part is, like, they weren't even close to each other. Like, the first house that he gave me, it was, like, right here. And the house that I actually went to was, like, right here. And I was, like, dude, I'm, like, so mind-fucked right now. Like, I cannot. Like, I'm still angry thinking about it because, like, the amount, like... The fact that I fell for this and I really thought that there was a cat involved. That's the only reason I went because I was like, I don't want the cat to be starving and this person is really relying on me. Like I really felt like this person was just truly desperate and they just needed somebody. And then I was like, okay, like, cause if they were willing to pay that much, then maybe they really, really needed somebody at that moment. Right. But then as soon as I saw him, it all came together. Okay. It all came together. So, literally, he was like, why are you so scared? Like, you're acting like you're so scared. And I was like, bro, you just lured me here and, like, locked me in your apartment. Like, you're not letting me leave. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to think? Like, how am I supposed to react? Like, literally, that's kidnapping, is it not? Like, this isn't even clickbait. Like, legit, he locked me in his apartment and he would not let me leave until he left. And I was there for like 30 minutes, okay? Like, it wasn't like a 10 minute thing. Like, it he left me, he was in there with me for like 30 minutes. And he kept trying to show me his apartment. And like, he kept trying to like, show me the bathroom in his bedroom. He's like, go in there, go the, in there. I was like, no, I'm not going in there, right? Like, I'm not gonna go in anywhere where I could be secluded and I can't get out and nobody can hear me scream. Like, what the fuck, right? Like, so he was telling me he's like come sit down hang out with me and I was like I am not here for that like I'm not here to get paid to hang out or talk to people like I'm not an escort like this is not what I do like I thought you had an animal and I was here for that but since there's no animal I want to leave like I, t I said I want to go home he's like no 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 don't leave don't leave like come sit down come hang out and I was like no I don't want to do that so He's like, well, I was going to go to the gym, so, like, I stayed here for you. And I was like, what do you mean you stayed here for me? Like, literally, you told me to be here at 6 p.m., so why are you saying you stayed home from the gym so that you could hang out with me? Like, I'm just so confused. Like, somebody tell me, like, how does this seem okay? You know, like... I'm still angry and I'm at a po I'm at a point where like I'm debating if I should like report it because like I know I got out alive but like the fact that like he did lock me and I don't know maybe I should have just filmed everything but like I was so terrified like it was so fucking weird like oh my god I'm trying to think was there anything else that stuck out to me while I was there oh yes so uh, when I was, like, asking to leave, I said something about, like, putting shoes on or something. Like, I told him to put his shoes on because he said he was going to leave to go to the gym when I leave. And I was like, okay. So I was like, let's get your shoes on. Like, let's go. Like, I don't want to be here. So then he was like, you need shoes? And I was like, what? And he's like, I got a whole bunch of shoes that, like are your size like he asked me what size I was and I was like I'm size eight so he like shows me this closet full of like brand new women's shoes like barely even used and I was like what the hell and he's like my sister used to live here but she couldn't take it when she moved out so like she just left all this here you can have them and I was like okay like I didn't even know what to do like I just took them because I didn't want to like upset him and like I didn't know what was gonna happen if I said no but here are the new shoes if you want to see them literally he gave me a whole bag on everything it was just like bro I don't understand and then also while he gave me these shoes so these are the first pair I mean I'd say they're pretty nice honestly I'm probably gonna use them <laughs> but anyways these are the second ones and then literally I mean I like these ones better because they're black but anyway so 
what was crazy is because um, he also sent me money as well. But remember how I told you that his name was Jonathan, right? So I was like, then who's Jonathan, right? And he's like, oh, that was the, that's a guy that works for me. Like I told him to like send you money under his name because he, you would have accepted it if it was from that guy. Like what if it was from me, you would have said, no, fuck you, right? And I was like, oh my God, like this guy went to extreme lengths to get me to come over. Like he literally used someone else to get like to lure me here and I was like bro so like he literally called this actual guy like his name is actually Jonathan he calls him in front of me and like on speakerphone he's like can you send her the money please because literally he had the he has my email address now so like what the fuck why are you giving my personal information out like that like now I've got two people that have my stuff like that right but it's just for e-transfer I know but it's like bro they could literally use it for anything else if they wanted so now this random Jonathan guy has my fucking email for e-transfer and I have a $50 deposit from him and then the guy, the actual guy that like kidnapped me, he sent me money too because he's like, I feel bad, like I want to send you the rest. So he sent me another 50 so I got $100 and I was like, dude, like what was all this for? He's like, for hanging out with me and I was like, oh my god, like I just can't. I'm so fucking over this, like... I'm still so angry like this was a legit kidnapping was it not like I know I survived and I got let out but like bro technically I was kidnapped for like 30 minutes okay so this is no clickbait I'm legit like if I could show you this dude's like name and face which I have the name but I don't have a photo so I can't do that but like bro and I'm not trying to be rude to people that don't speak English, but, like, clearly English is not his first language, and that should have been another red flag to me, but I try not to judge people, you know? So, another thing that pissed me off was, like, on Reddit, people were like, you're doxing that girl, like, that Sherry Demuches bitch, the one that scams everybody, right? The one that scammed me. Like, literally, everybody's like, you're doxing her, you're doxing her. I'm like, no, I'm not, actually. Like, doxing would be leaving, releasing private information, like her personal email address or her, uh, her address or anything private like that, you know? Like, that would be doxing. But putting her full name in her photo, which are on the internet, which are on the internet uh literally that's not doxing if it's public information then it's not doxing and if and people are like oh it's defamation i'm like how is it defamation if it's true like like bj from that surprise witness always said facts ain't defamation okay so like i don't know why people think that like i'm gonna get in trouble and like people are reporting my account for trying to bring awareness to this person like they're trying to protect her and I'm like why are you trying to protect such an evil scum like what the fuck like I don't get it like people are talking shit to me and I'm like dude I'm not trying to like bash on this person just to hate like I'm legit giving you awareness to be aware to not trust her and do not like don't lend her any money don't rent anything out to her don't do anything because you're never gonna see your money and she's just gonna block you and then run away like that's what she does okay that's what her mother even told me okay like I literally spoke to her mother and her mother literally said she does not pay her debts she always runs away from her problems like literally so I'm trying to like bring it awareness and I'm the only one so far that has actually had the balls to like make a video on it call her out by name show her photo and like you know, post it on my social media. Like, I don't care. Like, I I have no problem if people think that I'm a bitch or whatever for exposing her. But, like, if I'm going to, if I can help people and, like, stop them from getting scammed, like, I know that I'm not going to be the last, right? So, like, if I can hopefully try to prevent from other people being exposed to her bitchiness and her bullshit, like, then life would be much easier, right? So, literally at least it helped one person so far so sounds like she's gonna get evicted again so you know it's on there for life like internet is forever right so like this is always gonna follow her now like literally all these reddit posts all these youtube videos that i've made like literally it's never gonna be erased and every time somebody searches up her name that's what, what's gonna show up so like you know, she kind of did it to herself. She messed with the wrong bitch. Like, I am not afraid to put people on blast for the things that they do to me. Like, 
I just feel like people go after me because they think they can get away with it, but then they start hating on me and like getting people to attack me because I'm calling them out. And I'm like, no, I'm just not allowing you to take advantage of me like that. Like, I'm so sick of people walking all over me. Like, it's happened my whole life. Like, I've had people steal my stuff and like literally just cut me off, you know, like I've literally had people say they've lost my stuff when I blend it to them and then I see them wearing it the next day or whatever. Like, bro, I've had so many people try to take advantage of me like that. I'm not about to let it happen anymore, especially if we have social media and they have their public profile with their full name and their photo that is totally allowed to use to bring awareness to something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I've already brought, remember that guy, the UFC fighter that I'm no longer allowed to talk about, but like literally I'm not even allowed to like be around him because the police told us we're not allowed to like hang out with each other. Right. But it's like, that's another person who took advantage of me, who thought he could walk all over me because I don't have like a huge following like him, but I still wasn't going to let it happen. And when I posted about it, he literally went and took legal action to get me to like shut up right like I can take it down that's fine but like everybody knows who he is everybody knows what he did everybody knows like all about his background like everybody knows that like he beats people up outside the gym and inside the gym like he ends people's careers and I know for a fact because he's done it to one of my friends so I'm not even lying about that like he's known to be a hometown hoe okay like literally sleeps with all these bitches dates every bitch in the city like literally he is known for this shit so like he makes this his own reputation and then if somebody calls it out or like you know puts it on blast then all of a sudden I'm the bad guy like no I'm just calling out bullshit when I see it and I'm not about to have it you know especially if we have the power of social media why wouldn't I take advantage you know so anyways as you can tell I'm so angry <laughs> so Finally, I came back to the house and I explained the whole situation to the roommate, right? And then I ate some food and then I fell asleep, okay? So I slept okay. I slept okay. So then fast forward to today, Friday, March 24th, okay? And then I woke up, I got ready, and then I talked to my mom because the dog was being so problematic. <laughs> like, the dog just wasn't listening, so I wasn't having it. And then I FaceTime with my best friend because she wanted to see how the kid was doing. And apparently she has Wi-Fi on the ship, so yeah, we got to do full FaceTime thing and dog was happy to see her and all that. And now when I finish this video, I'm going to edit and then I'm going to post, then I'm going to walk dog, then I'm going to take a nap. And then I'm going to eat dinner and then I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to take a bath and then I'm going to take a, take a bed, go to bed. And then that will be the end of this week. And then hopefully no more drama happens till next week because I need a break. <laughs> I need this weekend for a break, you know? So I'm only here till Tuesday, I believe. And then I'm back home. So I'm ready to go back home. Like, I just want to be in my own bed, like in the silence. Like, I just want to not have all this bullshit happen to me, you know, like, Oh my god, and another thing, like, the guy that I was kidnapped by, he literally was telling me, he's like, well, I went back to the, uh, like, I went back to the apartment, but, like, nobody was there, so after nobody answered, I just never showed up, and I was like, yeah, because I got evicted from that place be while I was taking care of the dog, because she never paid her rent, and he's like, oh, what, that's what happened, and I was like, yeah, like, she's been, like, just scamming people for money, like, don't believe her, and he, he's like, yeah, like, she asked me for money, and I sent her a hundred dollars, and then she asked me for another hundred, like, a couple days later, she's like, I'm just in a really bad spot like we need some somewhere to live blah 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 and I was like oh my god this bitch is like seriously struggling like I was talking to the, my the roommate here and he was telling me how like you know people like that they always have like that's their whole life like that's always going to be like that they always surround their pe their sem themselves with people like that like that's just shit people flocking with the shit you know and I was like my mom says the same thing you know so it makes sense so I'm like bro just totally blocked that bitch I know he kidnapped me but I was like bro the fact that she was still taking advantage of people and the fact that she like reached out to my friends like literally I had several people reach out to me then show me messages how she reached out to them asking them to like take care of the dog after I did and they said no like they can't help her out or whatever so I don't know if the dog is out there with her in Oshawa, Oshawa Ontario whatever it's called it's not Ottawa, it's Oshawa, so I guess there's two different names for two different places, but apparently 
they're not doing so good out there and I hope that they end up homeless and like lose everything they have because like they don't deserve anything good because of how they treat people and like how they think they can just run away and lie to people like it's not it's gonna catch up to them it's not gonna work forever especially when they come across me like they met the wrong one okay like they're not gonna let like I'm not gonna let all this go down you know so like I hope that her life gets so bad that like her only option is jail because that's the only place that will allow her to stay you know so anyways that was my video of the day i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to leave a like comment share subscribe turn on the notification bells don't forget to follow all my social media in the description box below and don't forget to tell me what you thought about this whole video because like i'm telling you this whole thing happened in like three days from each other so i just don't understand how like all this bullshit can happen so quickly like I'm telling you, like, my life is a drama scene. Like, it's an actual drama show. Like, I feel like I am in the movie Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm in that movie Dynasty where, like, there's just so much bullshit. Like, every time you turn, there's just drama everywhere, you know? So, like, whether it's online, whether it's in person, like, I always got something going down. So, if you like that content, then don't forget to like because that's how my stories get shared. Don't let people take advantage of you okay this is exactly why you don't let people take advantage advantage of you because then shit just gets out of hand and then you literally can't even control some of it because you just let it go so far right so like still treat people the way you want to be treated but like don't let people walk all over you either because you don't deserve that like nobody deserves to be walked all over nobody deserves to be used like it doesn't matter what your past is like Nobody deserves to be used, you know, and nobody deserves to be lied to and scammed, you know, so I don't know. That's my thoughts. I know I'm very energetic and like hand gesture today, but I'm just like so angry. I just need someone to vent to. Thank you for listening and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.